Hi, Lori here again. Going to talk to you a little bit about our class. <clears throat> the financial tools we will be studying this semester are quantitative analysis, budgeting, time value of money, capital budgeting, financial markets, and micro and macro economics, at least the broad strokes. So let's talk first about quantitative analysis. By quantitative analysis, we simply mean the ability to evaluate something based on numbers. Sounds a little bit easier that way, doesn't it? We use quantitative analysis every day in our personal lives. Should we buy or make lunch? Can we afford to get a new car? What can we afford to do this weekend? If we do get a new car, is it better to buy the car or lease it? Well, IMC executives also use quantitative analysis all the time. What is the market research telling us? What do those numbers mean? Should we launch a new product? Can we afford to match the competition's advertising budget? How much of our sales are coming from our social media campaign? If it involves numbers and you are using numbers to evaluate something, then you are already doing quantitative analysis. Unfortunately, many marketing communication students lack confidence in their math skills. It may even be a reason why they chose IMC as a career path. That's the bad news. But the good news is that all an IMC executive like you needs to be able to do to do a very competent job with the financial aspects of your job or your position are the following. One, you need a sound grasp of the concepts. Sorry, there's a B right here. Two, a little simple math. And three, an ability to utilize some pretty cool parts of Excel. The first few weeks of this course are designed to give you the opportunity to acquire all of these. However, as an IMC executive, you will need more than just strong quantitative analysis skills. You will also need to understand accounting well enough to develop and manage a budget, as well as to evaluate whether your plan or project was a success. You'll need to know whether you are generating or using cash and be able to eva evaluate whether a multi-year project is good or bad for the bottom line. Also, the best IMC executives understand the big picture of financial markets and how economics can affect your work at both the micro level, think individual and company level, and the macro level, think governments, countries. The second portion of this course is designed to help you get your feet wet in the big picture areas of financial markets and economics so that you can position your company, position your company for success in the broader world. Our syllabus, which is posted on our Moodle site details how this course is laid out week by week. The course is only eight weeks long, even though we cover the same material we would normally cover in a 15 to 18 week course. Therefore, you can expect the workload to feel like it is double the normal amount because we are trying to do the same amount of work in half the time. There's a lot of material to cover and you should expect to feel stretched at times, which is actually good for learning. However, if you ever find yourself frustrated and ready to throw in the towel, please email us or text us so we can help you master that specific area that's giving you trouble or bring things back into perspective overall. Research so shows that you can't learn new things if you are angry or frustrated, so let's just not get there. As your professors, we think of ourselves as your guides. We're here to help you discover the material at your own pace and in a way that is most effective for you. We want everyone to at least master the material, which we define as a grade of 80 or above. But we hope that some, if not all of you, will aspire to not master the material, but excel. Overall, students who get A's in our classes typically put in two hours outside of class for every hour in class. During a normal semester of 15 to 18 weeks, we meet for two and a half hours. So working five hours outside of class in addition to the class time for a total of about 7.5 hours per week. Here, we would need to double that. So for planning purposes, you should expect to spend 12 to 15 hours per week on this course if you want to earn an A. Of course, less time invested does not always result in a lower grade, but there definitely is a correlation between the time spent on doing the work for class and the outcomes in terms of your learning and your grade. The class is structured in a way that many of our students have found effective in the past. First, we discuss a concept. Next, we demonstrate how it is used. We then ask you to demonstrate that you can apply what you have learned in a structured exercise. And then finally, we ask you to show us that you truly understand the material by using it in a less structured exercise, which in this case is your final project. This method uses two of the most effective learning techniques, repetition and having the student relate to the topic. These two techniques require a great deal of work on the part of both the student and the instructor or professor, but our experience is that it's worth it. It is highly effective in helping students master the material in a way they can use in their careers, not just on test and tests and assessments. 
We are really looking forward to working with you this semester. Our goal is to have fun learning together and to have each and every one of you feel confident using your newly acquired financial tools in your IMC roles.